Hello YouTube, what is going on? Um, it's been a while since I did a video, so I just thought I'll do a video real fast because I know what I'm going to do on this video, and I'm going to show you. And it is how to change a skin on a vehicle in Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Okay, first of all, you want to have a like a mod downloaded so we'll go do that um we'll go to GTA gaming <coughs> um file okay and scroll down to San Andreas <clears throat> this actually works with any like it doesn't work with just vehicles it works with like heads or anything basically it just has to have a txd file um we'll do uh I'm trying to think of a good one we'll do this one or that's actually mine I think I have it somewhere over here uh, where the f um, sorry, I'm just trying to look for something. I don't think it's in there. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I know it's something in here. Okay, there's going to be a file that you're going to want to download. It's called TXD Workshop, and it'll come with these files. Um, whoops. Um, so open that. After you download it, you're going to go to File, Open, <coughs> uh, and then just go to the TXD file that's included in your download, because there should be at least a DFF and a TXD file. The DFS is like the model, and the TXD is the, like the skin on your mod, if you didn't know that. Um... And then we'll do we'll do this one because I like this one. This one's pretty cool. This is a tiller, like a fire truck tiller. Um, as you can tell, I already kind of skinned it to my liking. Um, so I'm not. I'll just show you what to do, but I'm not gonna like change it so like it'll be on mine. So what we're gonna do is. Click on there. It says template or whatever thing. It says it's going to say something different. Like I have a couple of, or I've done this a couple of times, and it the name's always different. Like it'll say like like I don't know what else it'll say, but I know it says something else besides template. Just find like the skin for it. Like it should have like basically whatever on it. So once you click on the template export and then click PNG <laughs> save it to your desktop for to be faster and then you can minimize that and then everyone should be familiar with paint um, so we're going to open up paint <coughs> go to open and we're going to open the template now in here this is when you start editing you can add text like that and then yeah, you can just add whatever you want if you want to add pictures go to paste paste from and then just paste a picture like I'll just do one real fast oh that's really small can't really see that let me do something else um <coughs> do this like you can just put it wherever you want um and just make it smaller and just put it wherever you want and then when you're done you want to click save but I'm not going to save because I don't want to make my template look like that so just click either that or go to the little blue tab and click save and then 
exit out. Just make make sure you save. I'm not gonna save, so don't think that you're going somewhere else besides where I'm going because I am not. Let me make sure my template's fine. Okay. Then once you're done editing, you're gonna want to go back to that TXD workshop. You're gonna click import, and then you're just gonna find that template that you just finished with paint. And you're gonna click open, and then <coughs> your template, your new one, your new template will be inside the TXD workshop. And then you want to click File, Save. See, I can just click Save because I didn't really do anything. So you can exit out of that. <laughs> Here, I can exit out of Firefox too. And then you can either use San Andreas Mod Installer or okay. and just go to Install. Or just find your file, and then you know what I, you know what to do. Hopefully. Or if you're going to use Image Tool, just hopefully you know how to use that too. Then you just go to open and then open up your GTA 3 file. And then just import them. Um, that's basically it. It's not that hard. People always thought like, oh man, this is going to be hard. It's actually not. It just it takes a lot of work. <clears throat> so, yeah. But like I said, just import them, make your backups, and all that. Um, if if you think this helped, can you please like and favorite? Um, I haven't been doing much tutorials because I have a job now where I have to work 24 hours and I get 48 48 hours off. So it's gonna be kind of hard because. Well, first, school's coming up. It's August 10th right now, as you can tell from right there. So, school's coming up, and I probably can't do much because I have to do homework, and then I think I have to work. So, but I'll try to do whatever I can on my free time. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.